Let's look at some perennials for zone four, hardy perennials that are gonna last uh, for, for consumers there. Recommendations? Yep, how about a native perennial, the Baptisia. The decadence Baptisia are native to the Great Plains states and there's hardy to zone four. In fact, most of them were hybridized in Minnesota, so they're Minnesota hardy. What they all have in common in that series is that they're all short. So they're two and a half to three feet tall versus the natives that are five or six feet even sometimes. And there's five different colors in the series, all unique colors. Um, and I just really like them because they're super long lived and the deer don't eat them. Super easy to grow, drought tolerant too. Wonderful, so decadence yep. baptisia, yep. another example for us? How about perennial hibiscus? Would you guess that that's hardy to zone four? Hmm. Absolutely hardy to zone four. Yep, you can grow that in Minnesota too. You can grow that in Northern Michigan or any place else that it's nice and cold in the winter. It appreciates the snow covered though in that zone four. The flowers are eight to nine inches across. They look like, oh my gosh, this couldn't possibly be hardy, but they are. They're some of the most beautiful plants for the late summer and fall garden. And I mean, what's your favorite hibiscus in the line? Oh gosh, well, I would have to say the classic perennial hibiscus is the summerific cranberry crush. It was one of the first ones we introduced and it's still one of the best, Dave. It's the most compact in the line. So it's only three to four feet tall, has an upright oval type shape, but these gorgeous garnet red flowers, ruffled petals, little sheen to them. Oh, they're just breathtaking.